Tells you you're gonna add the number. All right. I can't believe I don't own a single copy of Grand Archivist. Um, so the idea is very simple. You only run two kinds of spell, Mind Control and Fifth Member. So when you play Spiteful Summoner, you'll hit either an 8-drop or a 10-drop. And when you play a Grand Archivist, either you get a random 8-drop or you steal one of your opponent's minions. It's like 8-mana Sylvanas kind of deal. Alright, let's give this a satellite deck a try here. Ha, this guy's toast. Do, do, Darth Vader? It's Darth Vader himself. Uh oh. I guess I could have played some things differently. No, uh, Drew Patches. Man, I love the Kalasath dream. I can't complain about my draw there. Let's uh, hold on to this. Just gives him a coil target if he's a um, slow warlock. Side effects? No. Trust me. Oh, yeah, my opponent's name is uh, Darth Vader. That's what that's what I'm talking about when I say Darth Vader. I am not randomly saying Darth Vader. Amethyst Spellstone. Unfortunately, as a priest, I don't think there's a way for me to hurt myself, right? I hurt myself today. To see, I still feel. One, two, three. Oh, this is a nice defile lining up, huh? Magic shall not save He's about to possess lacking me? I assume. If I trade this in this will be four. If I trade this, in, this will be a three. I wonder. You are not welcome here. Hmm. If I can go ahead and grab a uh, Tyrantus, I'll be really happy. <laughs> I maybe should have traded into Tutu a while ago. <laughs> he runs Corridor Creeper. But that card's the Resident Sleeper. Corridor Creeper does feel a bit too strong. As in, like, people just put that in every deck they play. Like in Control Deck, and Aggro Deck, and Mid-Range Deck. 
Might be a patches issue, but yeah. The amount of corridor creeper is a bit too high. I can play Grand Archivist, but if I don't hit free from Amber, I'm in trouble. We take the 50 50? I think we take the 50 50. Oh, what is one I tried this? Eight mana free from Amber. The downside is we don't get to choose it. Ooh, Giant Mastodon. I'll take it. He doesn't want to coin the boy lord, huh? Whoa, double siphon so. Alright, let's see what's in your deck. Show me your deck. Yes, yeah, that's the spell stuff. Fireball! Oh no, it's gonna pull out something that doesn't do anything. Oh, it doesn't use it! These are such... I am learning a lot from this Grand Archivist. It doesn't use it. He is really heck bent on not playing any minions. Why isn't he playing a minion? He has at least more Void Lords left. What do you ask of me? Into the dungeons, I go deeper. I, this one will prove very useful. He also runs the cube. Because he's gonna go down. I can't really stop him if he wants to go down. Eek! Oh, a shadow. That's a lot of Gudans. A lot of Doom Guards. 
Yeah, unfortunately, our Grand Archive is couldn't mind control because he has Skull of Inari, and it's not hitting his Void Lord, it's hitting his Doom Guards. We got some high value cards left. So many possibilities. He's gonna Hellfire? He's gonna heal a lot too. We are not in a great spot. Oh my god, dude, the animation though. Wait, he had the Void Lord the entire time? Oh man, we just got really unlucky with the Minari then. Because he could have pulled the Void Lord like a couple of turns ago. And there was that turn he didn't play it when he had 9 mana. It was really bad. Uh, other warlocks. <laughs> I would love double dustbreaker right now. If I can draw my second dustbreaker, I think I just win. There's no 10 mana taunt besides the Sleepy Dragon, right? My Why is it always Kazoon? <laughs> Your nightmare begins. The amount of Kazoons I'm getting is ridiculous. Steepy Dragon is 9 mana? Ooh. Then what am I thinking? Is there any 10 mana taunts? Oh god, he's like taking the book. Second dust breaker, second dust breaker, win the game off second dust breaker. Uh. If I just get second dust breaker, I can win. Because he won't have anything left to cube. On the bright side, his board is pretty 
full. Oh god, in car reviews he was a sleeper. Hmm, that might have given me the opening I needed. How much more stuff can he have? Both Doom Guards are dead. Both Void Lords are dead. He played Gul'dan. Is there anything left? A cube? Maybe an Umbra? He's dealing one net damage each turn. He has a second Defile most likely. You try and avoid playing minions, because if I play 2 health, then it starts lining up for a defy, I think. I'm out of cards. Is disguise toast here? Or is Oh, Drake has three health. Oops. He's out of Hellfire as well. Is disguise toast here? Or is this I'm trying to think if I can get punished for overcommitting here. I'm, I need to put on enough pressure to end the game next turn. Probably has a possessed lackey. He wants to play on two. And then he has a greater amethyst spellstone too. If I play this, this becomes four. I wonder. So we got three and four. Chilling in the corridor. He's doing one damage each turn. That goes to three, but it doesn't set up the defile. That goes to one, but it doesn't set up the defile. Unless he's gonna defile coil amethyst. Okay. Serve me now. That's fine, we still got two minions. Ooh. Ooh, a rough game. We did it. Yeah, I think he messed up. If he could, he should have just killed the Bone Mare and just keep that Doom Guard for a life as long as possible. Because once you um, kill all four demons and the Gul'dan, there's no more ways for him to generate threats. <sighs>